So, uh, I bring you the hope and the love of God today. It's not an American hope, but I've seen it in America. Because the hope of God comes from heaven. Just like the rain comes from heaven, it goes to all people. Some people don't do anything when the rain hits their house or their land. But some people plant seeds and they grow a great harvest. How many had coffee this morning? A few people? Alright, let me tell you a little story. I had coffee this morning. Uh, it was dark. And it woke me up. And some of you this week received some dark words. Some of you got a, this week had a dark cup of coffee. Check it. You had a dark, dark words, dark words. These words made you angry and woke you up. So now you feel like you can't rest. You don't, you feel like you're lacking. God is doing this this morning. He's putting clean water in your cup. The more you take his water, the more those stains in the bottom, they come out. Now this is your life. Uh, I put this in my pocket and that's why it's kind of beat up. I had to straighten it out to hold water. So my example is like this bottle, God's love. His love is like clean water. The problem with my example is I have no way to go get the ocean and bring it in here to show you. Because that's how God's love is. This bottle will run out. It's half gone. So God's love is like the ocean. So I want to do something strange. I want to bless the day you were born. Have you ever had anyone bless the day you were born? Some of us had had people curse the day we were born. Has the day you were born ever been cursed? Okay, I 
أو حدا كان عم بيلعن النهار اللي نحن ولدنا فيه. This week I watched the movie Capernaum. Capernaum, a movie. Hey, this week you watch. Watch. Hey, this شمعة حضر فيلم كفرناهم. It's a sad movie, but true. هو فيلم حزين بس هو حقيقة من الواقع. And God told me there's some people that have been cursed when they were born. والرب كان عم بيقول إنه في أشخاص لعنوا بالنهار اللي ولدوا فيه. God said I sent you 12,000 kilometers to say some simple words. الرب كان عم بيقول أنا بعتك 12,000 كيلو كيلومتر لحتى تكون عم تحكي بكلمات بسيطة. God said bless the day they were born. والرب قال بارك النهار اللي ولدت فيه. Because God is writing His story in your life. I'm allowed to see what's true and what's false. I know what lies are. I know what lies are. I've heard a lot of lies in my life. But I can go back to the Word of God for truth. So just open your hands in your lap. I want to bless the day you were born. خلينا هيك نكون عم نفتح إيدينا ويكون عم ببارك النهار اللي أنتوا لدتوا فيه. I'm blessing each one of you in the name of God. أنا بارك كل واحد فيكم باسم المسيح يسوع. I bless you with the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. أنا بارككم باسم وقوة قيامة الرب يسوع. I bless the day you were born. أنا بارك النهار اللي ولدتوا فيه. You are a flower that is being sprouted. Into a root. You are a great cedar. Into مثل هيدا الأرز. In the name of Jesus, Amen. باسم يسوع المسيح أمين. Take a deep breath. Do you receive that good word from God? سلمتوا هيدا الكلمة الحلوة الرائعة من الرب. Do you feel a change in your heart? بلشت تحس هيك بتغيير بقلبكم. Can you feel the truth push out darkness? إذا فينا نلاحظ إنه الحقيقة بلشت تدفش العتمة. Yesterday I went to the south and I saw these cedars. مبارح راح على الشمال على الشمال على الأرز. They were huge. They were big. كانت أرزات كتير كبار. Some of them had been hit by lightning. في منهم ضربوا البرق. Some had some broken limbs. في منهم في جذون مكسورة. But guess what? لكن حذروا شو؟ I didn't find one cedar. ما شفت ولا أرز واحدة. That began to grow its branches down into the dirt. ولا واحدة الج الجزعة أو ال الأغصان كانت عم تنزل نزول بقلب الأرض. It already had roots in the dirt. في الجذور بقلب الأرض. What I saw every cedar do is raise up to the sky. لكن كل الشجر كنت عم شوفه عم يكبر صوب السماء. And your life is like a great cedar. ومنشوف إنه حياتنا تشبه شجر الأرز. God is growing you up in praise to the sky. لأنه الرب عم بكبرنا وبنمينا ونكون نحو السماء. Now we can start preaching. هلا بلش يواز. I want to read Proverbs three. رح يقرأ من أمثال. Verse five and six. I'll just say the English real quick. ثلاثة. والعدد خمسة وستة. أمثال ثلاثة عدد خمسة وستة. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. توكل على الرب بكل قلبك. And lean not unto your own understanding. وعلى فهمك لا تعتمد. In all your ways, في كل طرقك عرفه. Acknowledge him, عرفه. And he shall direct your path. وهو يقوم سبلك. Do not be wise in your own eyes. لا تكن حكيما في عيني نفسك. Fear the Lord. اتق الرب. And shun evil. وابعد عن الشر. In my life, بحياتي. I learned from society. صرت أتعلم من المجتمع. People around me. من الناس اللي حواليا. I got rewarded when I did good things. كان أخذ مكافأة أو ناس تهمين بس أعمل أشياء منيحة. So I began to hide the the hurts and the pain. 
فبلشت خبي الاشياء اللي بتزعجني وبتوجعني and i began to only talk about the good things in my life وبلشت ضلني احكي بس عن الاشياء المنيحه بحياتي i thought this is what god wanted وافتكرت انه الرب بده يعني بهيدي الطريقه my high school class بالثانويه voted that i was the most likely to succeed كان اكثر واحد هو ناجح i'm not very rich انا مني غني so what does that mean succeed شو يعني كلمه اني اكون ناجح in in sports بالرياضه I played uh, soccer, I played basketball, I ran كان يلعب الفوتبول، كان يلعب الباسكتبول. I was the captain of the team. وكان هو مسؤول عن الفريق. My basketball team beat a really big school. بفريق الباسكتبول تبعولهم كان بمدرسة كتير كبيرة. And this this hand hit the winning bucket and we won by one point. وهن اللي ربحوا بضربة بسلة واحدة. It was so exciting. كان هيدا شيء كتير حلو. But there's been moments in my life where everything seemed like it didn't work. لكن كان في كتير مرات بحياته في أشياء ما عم تنجح. Where the pain was too hard. في محل كان في وجع كتير. To realize how God was in it. لحتى أقدر لاحظ إنه كيف وجود الله كان بحياتي. The verse said, "Acknowledge God in all your ways." الكلمة بتقول إنه نعرف الرب بكل الطرق. Not just your good ways. مش بس بالطرق المنيحة. Does that mean also your bad ways? هل كمان هذا الشيء بيعني إنه حتى بالأشياء اللي ملتوية بحياتي؟ Oh, we're in Beirut. No one has bad ways, right? أنا بقول ببيروت ما حدا عنده طرق ملتوية. Good. I don't know. Maybe so. ممكن. We all have bad ways. كلنا عنا أمورنا بشعة. But we have heard a lie of the enemy. لكن سمعنا كتير كذب من العدو. That God only uses the good things. إنه الرب بس بيستخدمنا للأشياء المنيحة. And He cannot heal the bad things. لكن ما في يشفي الأشياء المنا منيحة بحياتنا. How many of you are ready to paint your face today? كم حدا منا جاهز انه يكون عم بلون وجهه اليوم؟ Some of the women already painted their face. بعض النساء حطوا ميك اب لونوا. Now, everyone here is beautiful, but كل هون حلو. Sometimes we want a little help. لكن بعض المرات بيكون هيك بدنا نفشه صغيره. What if God told you to paint your face with ridiculous bright colors? كيف إذا شي مرة هيك تخيلت إنه رب يطلب منك تلون وجهك بألوان هيك غريبة؟ Have you ever seen um, the American Indians paint their face on the movie? شي مرة شفتوا الهنود الأمريكان الهنود بلون وجههم بالأفلام؟ The Vikings did it some. الفايكنجز. The ancient people of Britain did it. ببريطانيا القديمة كمان كانوا يلونوا وجههم. Do you know why they did it? تعرفوا ليش كانوا يعملوا هيدا الشيء؟ Were they trying to look pretty to go to the mall? هل كانوا بدهم يكونوا حلوين تا يروحوا على المول؟ What were they painting their face about? ليش كانوا يلونوا وجوههم؟ They were getting ready for a battle. كانوا دايما مستعدين للمعركة. God told me, I'm not talking about a, a physical battle, I'm just talking about a spiritual battle. أنا هلا مش عم بحكي عن معركة جسدية لكن عم بحكي عن المعركة الروحية. I want to teach you how to paint your face today. اليوم رح أكون عم بعلمكم كيف تلونوا وجهكم. I'm not talking about physical colors and paint. مش عم بحكي عن الألوان العادية اللي بنحطها على وجهنا. I'm talking about the calling of God in your life. لكن عم بحكي عن دعوة الله لحياتنا. And the history of God in your life. والتاريخ اللي بده يكتب الرب بحياتنا. I want to prepare you for good works. اليوم بدي أكون عم جهزكم لأعمال جيدة. And know who you are. وتكونوا عم تعرفوا حالكم أنتم مين. God spoke in my heart one day. رب كان حكي لقلبي. He said, "People don't know who they are." قال لي إنه الناس ما بيعرفوا حالهم هن مين. Where they come from. أو هن من وين جايين. And where they're going. ولوين رايحين. How about you? 
شو عنك اليوم؟ Do you know who you are? بتعرف أو بتعرفي أنت مين؟ Do you know where you come from? بتعرفي أنت أو أنت من وين جيتوا؟ Do you know where you're supposed to be going? وبنعرف نحن لوين رايحين؟ And can you see God in all of that with His hand? وأنتوا قادرين تشوفوا إيد الرب بكل هذه الأمور بحياتنا؟ Water break. When I share this with you, I'll tell you what God did to me. He started showing me that his handprints and his fingerprints were all throughout my life. I'm going to ask a leader to take some notes on these points. Maybe, maybe in your prayer group talk about this. You may have someone here that needs to hear some points again and maybe they don't write. So those that can, I want you to pay attention to these points or write them down or remember them. You need to know your name and the meaning of your name. You need to know when someone gave you a false name that it's a false name. Did anyone get a, a bad name when they were in school? Raise your hand if they gave you an ugly name. If someone tried to hurt you. Yeah, only two people. Two people only? Raise your hand if someone tried to give you an ugly name. You remember an ugly name they gave you. Anyone? Okay, there's a, yeah, several people. Nobody went to school. No one went to school, okay. Maybe in your house, did your brother or sister give you an ugly name? Anyone? Okay, yeah, we have some. Yeah, okay, now we're getting there. Yeah. So we are told that, oh, this shouldn't hurt us. Just be honest, it does hurt. We start to doubt the calling we have. Our parents say, you're blessed, you're, 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 you're smart. And people say, we're cursed, we're dumb. Your mama says, how can you be? And you go to work and they don't tell you that. I don't have time, but look up your name. And know that in the Bible, God started changing names. Let me do mine real quick. He showed me this about a year and a half ago. My name is Timothy. It means God honoring. Has anyone heard me honor God today or this week? A little bit? I hope so. Um, in Irish, it means a poet or a storyteller. In Irish, in Ireland. Irlanda. It means a poet. Has anyone heard my poetry in a song? 
Has anyone heard me sing? That's poetry. Okay, so that is my that's my first name. My middle name Wayne means a wagon maker or a craftsman. Or just say it means a builder, a builder. It just means a builder. Okay. I build houses. That's God's thumbprint. It's in my name. My last name Meyer means mayor, um, like someone in charge of a community or given authority. When I walked and blessed you, I blessed you as a mayor in authority. Because that's in my name. No government gave me the title, God gave me the title. Okay, quickly. So know your name. No important life events. Uh, the things that pop out in your head is always coming back in your memory. Write down the good stuff and the bad stuff. Uh, you'll see God speak into that. That was number two. Number three. This might be tough for you. Write the reasons that you're angry with God. Write the reasons that you feel sometimes like you're failing. A lying voice comes to you. And it tells you lies. It says, God won't listen to me. You think you're being humble. And you're too proud to talk to your God, the Creator. I invite you to repent. Because that's actually evil. You're not allowing God to speak to you. So, be honest with God how you feel. And then invite him to heal your heart. Now, I did this. Did you know I had a whole page of things that I was angry at God about? I used to drive some kids in Mexico to the park. The These kids lived on the street. Some of them uh, sniffed glue. Sniff like a drug. One time I went back to Mexico. And I found out that seven of them were killed by the mafia. That hurt me for a long time. Do you know that I needed to acknowledge God like in Proverbs? When I did, he began to heal me. So, I had a whole page of things I didn't understand. Number four, God had me make another list. This was the list of God's faithfulness. 
This is a list of God's miracles. هيدي الليستا فيها المعجزات الرب اللي عملها بحياتي. I, get, I began to write. بلشت اكتب. I filled up the page and I turned it. بلشت اكتب صفحة وتتعبى وارجع اكتب على الصفحة الثانية كمان تتعبى. I wrote another page. بلشت اكتب كمان على صفحة ثالثة كمان عبيتها. I wrote another page. وصفحة ثانية. I wrote another page. بلشت كمان صفحات وصفحات عم بكتب عن شو الرب عمل معجزات بحياتي. كان ممكن اني ملي هيدا الكتاب بالامور الصالحه اللي الرب عملها بحياتي. لكن بمطرح معين نجح ابليس انه يسرق سلامي وفرحي. لانه نحن عايشين بعالم منحط. Our heart will be broken. قلوبنا رح تكون مكسورة. It will be torn open. رح تتخزق. But God will enter in if you allow Him. لكن الرب رح يدخل على حياتنا إذا نحنا سمحنا. Acknowledge God in all your ways. كون نحنا عم نعرف الرب بكل طرقنا. Let His word be like a medicine in your heart. وخلي كلمته تصير هي شفاء لقلوبنا. He will show you what your real name is. لأنه رح يفجيك ويعرفك عن اسمك الحقيقي شو هو. If you were given an evil name at birth, إذا كان حدا سميك باسم شرير وقت اللي ولدت. He will change your name. الرب رح يكون عم بغير اسمك. He will change your frown to a smile. رح يغير هيدا الحزن اللي بوجهك لابتسامة. You won't say I can't hear God and His love. ما رح تقول بقى إنه أنا مش قادر اسمع الرب مش قادر شوف ما حبته. You won't say my hands are too heavy I can't lift them in praise. بت ما رح بقى تقول إنه حاسس بتعب وتقل بإيدي ما رح أقدر أرفع ونسبح الرب. You can't say you won't say I'm so sad I can never dance. ما رح بقى تقول أنا كتير حزين ومحبط ما فيه أرقص. Maybe where you are, that looks strange, and you can't dance. ممكن. Maybe maybe you're not allowed to dance in your home. ممكن إنه ببيتك ما كان مسموح إنك ترقص. Maybe you're riding a bus and you can't dance in the bus. ممكن إنك أنت تكون بالباص وما رح ترقص بالباص. But let me tell you, your heart can dance inside. لكن خليني خبركم إنه قلبك من شوا هو بيكون عم بيرقص. Your your Life can be like a cup that starts to fill up. ممكن حياتنا تصير مثل هيدا الفنجان وتصير تمتلي. When my life fills up with joy, you know what happens? وقت اللي تمتلي حياتي بالفرح تعرف شو بيصير? The presence of God fills it up. بيجي حضور الله وبيتلقى. Then it spills. بتبلش تطلع لبرا. And it blesses someone. بتبلش تبارك الآخرين. Words come out. They're not my words. في كلمات بتصير تطلع مني هي منا كلماتي. They're God's blessing. لكن هاي دي بركات من الرب. That He has entrusted for me. لأن هو حط سأته فيه. To give to little children. لحتى. To to give to little bitty children. Blessings to children. لولاد تنبارك لولاد. To teenagers. لنبارك المراهقين. To to people of my age. للأشخاص اللي من عمره. To older people like Pastor Joseph. لكل الناس حتى مثل أسي جوزيف. Right. مزبوط. No, we're we're close to the same age. إن تقريبا نفس العمر. That was a joke. هاي المسحة. It didn't work either. We're gonna end with a verse in Second Corinthians four seven. Can I invite you to change your thinking? لصحاح الرابع والعدد سبعة رح يكون عم بدعيكم إنه تغيروا طريقة تفكيركم. Can I invite you to open your heart to see the kingdom of God? كونوا عم تفتحوا قلبكم لتشوفوا ملكوت الله. One time a song came into my my head and my heart. في مرة قنية هيك ترنيمة صارت تحكي لقلبه لفكره. It said the kingdom of God. بتقول إنه ملكوت الله. Is all around. هو موجود حوالينا. The kingdom of God. ملكوت الله. Is upside down. هو نزل من فوق لتحت. The kingdom of God is inside out. هو من جوا لبرا. Come Holy Spirit. 
تعال أيها الروح القدس. Come and break out. تعال أيها الروح القدس وأخرج هيدا الملكوت. I want to tell you what that means. It means in the kingdom of God, usually it's opposite of what you think it is. You go, you go get advice. And you get bad advice. Because you're not allowing God to speak into your life. My brother uh, took money from me when I was working for him. I wanted to get more money and, and make it right. Take money from him and make him pay me. God said, go put money in his bank account and bless him and pray for him. That changed my life. That will change his life. My brother's offense, my brother's offense are against me. Is one piece of the puzzle that explains how I'm able to come here. Had I been angry and, and returned evil for evil, I promise you I would not be here today. So seek first the kingdom of God. مكتوب إنه أطلبوا ملكوت الله أولاً. Second Corinthians four seven right here. بكورنثوس الثاني أربعة والعدد السابع بيقول ولكن لنا هذا الكنز في أوان خزفية. We have the treasure, but we have this treasure, the gospel. في عنا هيدا الكنز اللي هو الكتاب. In jars of clay. ليكون to show that this all-surpassing power is from God. Is from God. Is from God. You're good on this. You're doing a good job. Um, have you ever had a jar of clay? Have you bought a jar of clay? Put something in it. Anyone? Anyone had a jar of clay? Okay, young people buy iPhones, not jars of clay, right? I can find better jars than jars of clay. I've seen jars of glass that are very pretty. I've seen red ceramic vases that were beautiful. A lot prettier than the color of clay. I've seen silver vases and jars. I've seen uh, in the movies golden jars. So if I told you you could go through Beirut and pick any jar, and that Pastor Joseph would pay for it, don't worry about the cost. You don't have to pick a little one. Get a big one so you can put a cedar tree in it. What kind of jar would you pick? Would you would you pick a gold one? Yes, yes, yes the gold. Because I am paying, they choose the they choose the gold. They get the gold. The gold one. That's what I would get. As long as Pastor is going to pay. He will pay. He will. I'll, I'll make sure. Yeah. Woo! Everyone gets a jar. 
كل حياتي ذهب طالما اسير جوزيف هو اللي راح يدفع. Because I fly away in a couple days. لانه هو حيسافر. I will pray for you. راح يكون عم بيصلي لك. When God looked all over the whole earth, this verse tells us that he picked jars of clay. Every jar of clay is different. Jars of clay are not made from a machine. مش ماشيين بتعملوه بالايد بيعملوه. They are formed by hand. بيصنعوه بايدهم. They have imperfections. بنعرف انه ما ما بتكون هيك كاملة الجرة. The ones in Mexico they make a lot of them. بالمكسيك بيعملوا كثير جرات فخار. I can show you little cracks in them. Little cracks. بتقدر تشوفوا فيهم هيك شو صغيرة. Little little holes in them. أو في منهم هيك فيهم فخذ صغير. And I have some of these jars of clay at my house. وهو جاب معه من المكسيك ببيته من هدول الفخارات. I've never I've never had a visitor come and say, Wow, look at that jar. تعرف ولا مرة أجى حدا لعندي وقال لي واو هالجرات شو حلوين. You know what I've had them do? You know what my visitors do? تعرف شو الزوار كانوا يعملوا؟ They say, "Wow, look at that beautiful flower in that jar." كانوا يشوفوا الوردة اللي هي زارعينا بقلب هيدا الفخارة وقولوا لك شو حلوة هالوردة. Every one of you has brokenness like a jar. كل حدا فينا في عنده كسر مثل هيدا الفخارة. You are not a gold jar that's very strong. أنتوا مش فخارة من ذهب كتير قوية. You are a clay jar that is fragile. نحنا مصنوعين من هيدا الفخار اللي هو كتير طريق ممكن ينكسر. If someone kicks you over, you will chip. إذا حدا هيك ضربنا نغرب من خدش. And some of you carry little marks from your life. وفي كتار منا حملين علامات من حياتنا. You know what this scripture says? تعرفوا شو الإنجيل بيقول? It says this. This is true. بيقول هيدا هو الحق. Because what God is doing is He will bring glory out of your life. لأنه الرب رح يكون عم بيظهر مجده بحياتنا. People will walk by you one day. ممكن الناس يمروا من حدنا. And they they won't see the seed that's in your heart right now. They won't see it. وممكن إنه ما يكونوا شايفين هيدا البذرة اللي جوات قلبنا هلا. They'll start to call you that ugly, lying name, that lie. وببلشوا يطلقوا علينا كلمات وأسامي غريبة. But the Spirit of God will quicken your heart. لكن روح الرب رح يكون عم يلمس قلبنا. And and he'll say, let them wait, let them talk. ورح يكون عم يقولك تركون خليهم يحكوا. I already told you there's a seed in your heart. لأنه أنا مسبقا قلت لك إنه في هيدا البذرة موجودة جوات قلبك. Water the seed. لكن أنت مفروض تكون عم تصيّع. Be happy, a harvest is coming. Fruit. كن فرحان لأنه في حصاد جاي. You'll see a beautiful fruit. رح تكون عم بتشوف سمار حلوة. Don't throw your jar away. ما تكب هيدا الجرة. Don't dig out your soil. وما تشيل هيدا الترابيت منا. Don't throw away the seed. وما تكب البذرة. Smile, rejoice, and wait. لكن فرح تسم وكون عم تنتظر. One day they'll be walking by. لأنه في يوم من الأيام رح تكون ماشي. And they'll notice something. ورح يبلشوا يلاحظوا شيء. Wait a minute. لحظة. Isn't that something beautiful in your life coming up? مش في شيء حلو بلش يبين يسمر بحياتك. Wow, where did that come from? من وين إجت هاي السمرة? Wow, how are you blessed? كيف أنت هيك مبارك? How do you have the the fruit of joy in your life? كيف عندك سمار سمر الفرح بحياتك? Didn't you watch the news? It's terrible. ما شفت الأخبار كتير بشعة. Why do you live with such peace and joy that it's not terrible? ليش في عندك فرح وسلام جواتك? 
and then God can allow something to happen. You can say, I'm just a simple broken jar. But I'm going to display the goodness of God coming out of my life. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's stand and pray.